Hello and welcome back to the next episode of our Skyrim Let's Play. I'm still down here in the Ragged Flagon. And we need to follow Brynjolf into the back and uh, talk After with After you talk the to Brynjolf and Mercer, come back and see me. Okay, Vex. Um. <clears throat> so, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to okay. me. Okay, everybody's Canadian, right? <laughs> Alright, let's get back here and follow Brynjolf. I haven't done anything in between episodes because I didn't want to mess up the quest here. Yep, yeah, you just go that way and I'm going to pop in here. See what kind of goodies we can find. Um, ooh, got some gold on the table too. All right. Oh, I didn't want the wine, but apparently we're going to take it. Uh, and a chest here. I will take that. Nah. It's probably nothing over here. Nope, there wasn't. Okay, let's get in there and meet Mercer. Nice of you to wait on us, Brynjolf. I always thought this was kind of a cool little place to have a hideout. Looks like everybody's up and around. Hopefully we can talk to them before they all go to bed. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Uh, yes, I understand. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer. No, Aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Nice. Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. No, I won't. So how do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. And tell me about the Golden Glow job? Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. And what's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. And so what's so important about these clients? The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, We'd be in serious trouble. And what should I do about him? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. And uh, I need more details? Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. 
You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries, not Riften guards? Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. And how do I destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Very true. And why not level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery, which would cut into her profits. And Maven Blackbriar is the influential client? We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. So how dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the Fourth Era in prison. All right. You watch enough. yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. All right, thank you, Brenioff. And let's see if we can talk to some of these guys. You're pretty tough. I respect that. Bringing in a lot of coin for the guild. Making us look good, too. Let me know if you need anything, okay? So, you were part of the bandit clan? I joined up with them maybe 10 years ago. Small clan, maybe 20 men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans, but it was always about the killing for them. But not for you? Don't get me wrong. The first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. And what changed? We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, he ordered us to kill the rest. You'd never had to do that before? No. We usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Luckily, I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. And Garthak? I left his head on a pike at the wreckage <laughs> of the caravan. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. Good to Go know. and pick some fights. Alrighty. And Sapphire? Let's Look, if I was a little harsh before, I just want you to know it's because you were new. Know what I mean? And so will you tell me your real name? Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really know anyone here. Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. This is a business. Uh, something had to make you this angry. Look, you want to know about me? All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about the time I was a young girl, barely out of her teens, living on a pig farm in the middle of nowhere. Didn't have a coin to spend between our entire family. Ate the same slop we fed our livestock. Sounds terrible. Oh wait, it gets much better. How about the fact that our farm was attacked by bandits, and that they killed my entire family who didn't even brandish a weapon against them? Here's the best part. They took me as a prize and violated me for a fortnight. Tossed me from bandit to bandit like... like... You don't have to continue. It's fine. I had to tell someone, I suppose. Carrying around a weight like that, it hurts after a while. Cuts you inside like a dagger to the heart. And how did you escape? Over time, I managed to gain their confidence. Then one night, I grabbed a knife, waited until they fell asleep, and cut their throats. I never returned to that pig farm, you know. 
There's nothing for me there. So that's my sad story. What do you think? You still never told me your real name. Maybe one day. Just not today. Fair enough. I hope we bump into each other again. Uh, me too, Sapphire. And you are... Come here a second. How did you end up at the guild? I used to live in Valenwood, working at my father's winery. We made the finest wine to ever cross your lips, I promise you. We were doing well. Plenty of coin, a huge mansion, and I was even betrothed to a lovely young woman. Why would you leave all that behind? Because it was dull. Every day was the same boring routine. Working at the winery, social visits with friends, parties with no one I cared about. I just wanted a little excitement. Something dangerous. Like being a thief? I hooked up with a guild in Valenwood. I think they called themselves the Silver Crescents. Spent quite a few years doing jobs for them. Made a lot of coin, but I didn't care. I didn't really need it. I was running with them because it fit. Made me feel alive. How did you end up in Skyrim? Well, after a while, my father caught on to what I was doing. He confronted me one night and gave me a choice. Either leave Valenwood, or he'd have me thrown into jail. Gave me a day to say my goodbyes to everyone. That must have been difficult. I ended up in Skyrim thanks to a contact I'd made when I was with the Crescents. Good old Delvin. Hmm. He introduced me to Gallus, and that was it. I've been here ever since. And you know what? Despite what I left behind, I don't regret it one bit. Hmm. Do you know anything about the Golden Glow Estates? The honey they collect on that hunk of rock goes into making Blackbriar mead. Just about the best tasting mead in all of Skyrim. And does the guild provide other services? If talking your way out of trouble isn't enough, you could always pick up some training from Delvin, Vex, or Vipper. Also, I recommend hitting the training room if you need lockpick practice. Helped me out of a jam more than once. Good to know. Thank you. If you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab me. I will do that. And we are not going to talk to Mercer. I know we don't need that one. Um, let me see here. These should have had extra lockpicks in them. Yes, they do. Ooh, and some health. Nice. No. Very nice. And you are... Bipper. Hey, let's talk a second. So how did you earn your name? It was on a job a few years back. It was supposed to be a simple burglary on a house in Windhelm. I was working with Vex, and we got inside with no trouble. We found the loot and made our way out. Sounds normal to me. Well, it was. Up until the point where we set foot outside. The house was surrounded by town guard. The client had ratted us out. Ouch. Vex just tells me to run. So I did. Half of them went after me. The other half went after her. <laughs> did either of you get caught? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Vex lost them in seconds. Once she steps into the shadows, she vanishes. Me? I ran. And I ran. Straight through the gates of Windhelm. And all the way back to Riften. That's an incredible distance to run. Vex was waiting for me at the flagon when I came in. Drenched in sweat. Everyone just took a look at me and laughed. Why were they laughing? Well... I had forgotten we had our horses tied up just outside of Windhelm. Vex rode hers back and arrived hours before I did. So, that's how I earned the name. Now keep it to yourself. Uh, we won't tell anybody. And I think we're good with the Need rest of Need any that. more pickpocket training? You just let me know. I will. And I look at this. Did I look at this? Yeah, I look at those two. Talk to her. We talked. Interest you in some marksman training? Not right now, but thank you anyways. Uh, let's see. We got uh, that. Ooh, nice. No. 
these are these scale boots. I wonder if we could sell them. Because we will get our own set. Ooh, Elven Arrows, nice. And who are you, Rune? Got a minute? Wanted to say something. Uh, how did you get your unusual name? My father told me he found me as a young boy in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange runes. Do you know what they mean? No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Maybe you aren't meant to know. Perhaps. They could be nonsense, inane scribbles done by someone in idle boredom. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. So who gave you the name? Actually, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it because it never felt right to do so. I'll keep an eye out for anything. I appreciate that. All right. Keep to the shadows. Yes, sir. Ooh, Blackbriar Reserve. That's pretty good, actually. We will sell that one. Wanted to say something to you. Uh, how did you become so good at picking locks? Pull up a chair, my friend. This is quite a tale. When I started out in this business, I wasn't really interested in the guild or being a thief. With skills like yours, why not? I didn't mean to imply I was earning an honest living either. With my lock picking aptitude, I was a natural at jailbreaking. Made a great deal of gold doing it too. Jailbreaking? What's that? It's where a client pays you to get arrested, and you get thrown into a prison for the express purpose of breaking out. Usually it's to free someone the client cares about, and sometimes to. well, to kill someone on their behalf. Hmm. Either way, the trick was in the escape. And that's where my strengths came in handy. Why did you stop doing it? Well, as a jailbreaker, you work alone. No guild to back you up. I do jobs for the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood, but if things didn't go as planned, I was on my own. Ah, uh, I think I see what you're getting at. The last jailbreak I attempted failed. I was imprisoned in High Rock for three years before they let me go. After that, I promised myself I'd never do it again. Why did you join the Guild and not the Brotherhood? I don't know. I think I realized that out in the world, my skills would bring me more wealth as a thief rather than an assassin. Killing someone in a jail is much easier than what the Dark Brotherhood deals with. I guess I wanted to play it safe. Fair enough. I already knew Delvin. I asked if I could join up, and that was that. Alright. Some Good other enough. time, perhaps. Perhaps. I think that was everybody. Call back for you. We talked to you. And I think we talked to you as well, right? Yes, we did. Now, let me see here. I'm not going to, uh... That's the... Vault room. Oh, yeah. The book I'm going to grab here is the Shadow Mark book. And it shows off what the, the symbols mean. I always forget what all of them mean, but we will take that and hold on to it. And I do not need the Alchemy Lab. Back in here is the training room they were talking about, and the chess. Um, whoa, what was that? Oh, that's right, I had, uh, whoa. Training chess. 
These chests are for practice use only. Please refrain from using them for storage. The locks in these chests have been specially constructed to reset themselves after a short amount of time. If you have any issues, pre please speak to Niren. Okay, we'll just leave that there. Whoa, why is the light doing that? That is so weird. What in the world? Okay. Is that, ooh, that one's, ooh, another one. We'll just take all that. And I will come back and do these off screen. You guys don't need to see me struggle with some of the harder ones. So. And plus, I don't want to break all our lock picks right now. Because we are going to need them at Golden Glow. And we can't use the fancy back door exit yet because we have to go out here and get our uh, Thieves Guild armor. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, over here we need to speak with uh, uh, Vax first. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Oh, I love this voice. All eyes are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. Mm, I suppose I could use some advice. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're going to get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. What's happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dark for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it to you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. A curse? What could that be about? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Um... How will doing extra jobs help the guild? Years ago, the guild used to have a foothold in every major city in Skyrim. You wouldn't dare even lift an apple without checking with us. When things started going downhill around here, it became difficult to keep it all together. We lost fences, influential contacts, and a coin. It wasn't long before we lost what we depend on to survive. Respect. By doing these extra jobs, and putting some fear into the people, we can take back the cities and start being taken seriously once again. Take a city back? What's that mean? Thanks to Maven Blackbriar, we still have some pull in Riften. But get arrested in Whiterun and you'll be tossed right into the prisons. If we gain the confidence of someone very influential who lives there by doing a unique job for them, we'll be able to have some leverage there too. The only way we get that special job is by doing smaller ones in those cities until we catch their ear. Then they'll contact me and we're off. Okay, well, I've heard you're offering extra work. I had all the fishing, numbers and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If breaking's are more your thing, go talk to Vex. Uh, tell me about the numbers jobs. Most of the establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Your job will be to change the numbers in those books so the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. Feel like doing a bit of writing? Sure, count me in. Nice. Yeah, this is what you'll need to know. All eyes are on you, lass. Where are Don't you sending me? Us. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. Solitude, okay. One, 
Oh. I'm the best oh, infiltrator this bang. rat hole Wait. of the guild's got. Good lord, so if you they? think you're here, here to replace... Are. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of the guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. I wouldn't think of it. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. What sort of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Uh, I heard you ran into trouble at Golden Glow. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was mm -hmm. like he was daring us to come and get him. Any tips to get me in there? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Good to know. And let's see. I heard you're offering extra work. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. Uh, let's see. Tell me about the burglary. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? Uh, I'm in, sure. All right. Take this and get out of here. Oh, good. They're both in solitude. That helps. All right. So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are going to have to get very well acquainted. And why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. Mm, I can also good. provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again, for a small fee. Uh, is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over <laughs> your head and dump you into the cistern? That would work. Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Thank you. And let's Until put that next on. time. And then we're going to sell with her for just a minute. So let me see. Yeah, the amulet of Zenithar, better prices. Yep. Let's put these on. And let's talk with Welcome you again. Welcome to the Cozy. I give special rates to members of the Thieves Guild. Show me what you've got. Alrighty. Let's see here. You've got a thousand gold. Um. I need to disenchant that. I'm holding on to that. All right. Um, sure. I won't wear it, so might as well get rid of it. I'm wearing that. I'm going to enchant that. Hmm. Let's get rid of that. I don't need it. Nope. I want that. Ring of recuperation. I'm going to re disenchant that. Sure. Mm, no, I'll hold on to them right now. I'll hold on to that right now. Oh, and let's sell the one pair. Let's 
see. Can you take these for me? And she is out of gold. Let me buy a few lockpicks at five. Um, is it 33? How much is it? Yeah, we'll do that. And then uh, let me see here. It's two eleven, two eleven. Becker, we can get rid of that. Get rid of that one. Hold on to that one. Get rid of that. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Potions. I oh, would need that. I'll hold on to that. Wow, we've got a lot of those. Um, sure. Oh, she's out of money again. All right. Good enough. All right, then. All righty. Let's switch these up. Let's put back on a ring and our circlet and the annual talus there. All right, Something let's... troubling, yeah? I'll listen. Oh, not right now. And you. So, it's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. It's another to actually use them. Uh, is there anything you need done around here? Now that you mention it, there is. I have a buyer with, uh, shall we say, a very odd taste in literature. Looking for some particular books. And what kind of books are they? I'm told they're the ravings of a madman. A wizard named Arundel, And his peculiar cravings. It's said to be spread across four volumes. And very hard to come by. My client is offering quite a reward for them. Which I'd uh, split with you. Mm -hmm, sounds good. I'll get them for you. Then we have a deal. In his later years, Arundel moved into some ice caves known as Ingvild. He preferred the solitude in which to perform his um, experiments. And do you know anything about him? Only rumors. He used to have a home in Dawnstar until they burned it down. The people say he was doing unspeakable experiments on reanimation. Rituals only a mm. necromancer would perform. After he made for Ingvild, he was never heard from again. Well, that sounds dangerous. And how can you be certain the journals exist? Recently, a woman was found naked and shivering along the road to Dawnstar. The only information the guard could get from her were tales of strange experiments and Arundel scribbling in his journals. Okay, thank you. I, now all eyes are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. I won't bring you off. I won't. All right, let's get out of here, and I will meet you guys outside. All righty. Let me uh, check real quick. Did we get rid of... Okay, we did. That's good. I thought we still had a disease. I just wanted to make sure. So now we need to get over to Golden Glow. Let's go out the back door here. Alright. And I think we can kind of just work our way along, along the coast for a little bit before we get in the water. Can't remember if there are any slaughter fish in the water here, but what the heck? Oh jeez. Really? Um well, I guess we're gonna go take care of the dragon. my bow. 
slow. I don't know where you're going, dude, but dragon is over. Whoa. Gravy. Come on, dude. There you go. Get a little hover on. Okay, we're starting there. Oh, I know I hit you that time. Where are you going? Come on, come on. Oh, he'll probably take off before I get there. Oh no, the horse is going after him? No, not the horse, not the horse. Be nice to the horse. Whew. Okay, he wasn't too bad. Oh, we'll take all this. All right, give me your soul, dear. Give me your soul. Thank you very much. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, well, I guess we will go in from this angle. I think nighttime would probably have been better. here. Nope, wrong button. Um, here. Now this over here, that's burn the beehives. So we want, it won't tell me which one. There we go. That's the sewer one. So let's continue along the coast a little bit more. Ooh, it looks like we have a fort or something over in that direction. We'll have to check that out. I don't think we've been there. And we need to keep an eye out for Nernroot as well, even though I do have, um, I think we have 21 of them. No, I want the wolf. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you. For your wing contribution. Uh, let's see. Let's keep going a little bit further this way and then cut over. I always end up swimming around this place at least a good five, six times. Uh, I'd like to see if I can see it from here should be like is it right over there or is it on the other side that's the beehives so it should be like that dot like right over there. Maybe not. Ah, there we go. Ah, and they don't even know we're here. Oh, they were starting to know, though. Got in just in time. Alright. Let me, uh, Switch to our bow. Okay, we need to go this way, I think. There's skeepers down here. 
Oh yeah, there is. Come on, little fella, where are you? Have a nice little arrow with your name on it. Any more? Oh, nice. I got my arrow back. Can I have the other one? And my arrow back. Nice. There's some more up here. Is that... Ooh, hold on. Let's do this real quick. Just in case there's more, because there almost always is. Is there anything in here? Nope. Nothing there. Alright. Ooh, we got one. Ooh, nice. I think we got them all. What do we have over here? Adapt, huh? Ooh, let's be careful. Nope. I said be careful, not break your lockpick. Here we go. Ooh, nice. Come on, right along. Guide to better thieving. Alrighty, nice. Another chest here. Not Nope. Too far. Oh, let's try a little bit down. Ah, nice. Ooh, nice soul gem, too. We need to get some more. We are out of them. Any more you know oh, there is. Oh. <laughs> nice. That was funny. Alright. Wow, they have really been eating pretty good down here. Alright, let's keep on moving. Whoa. Miss that. That was my fault. But it gives us a chance to practice our healing. There we go. Boop. All right. And let me see. That's where we're going to come out. So we need to go this way. And I think we just need to go right in here. Yep. Oh. Carefully. Nope. Really. Alright. It's kind of spongy over here. So let's try right out there. One. Nice. Okay, option will obtain the key. Alright, let's see if we can make our way through here. Probably not. Uh, now I think we are allowed to kill these guys without uh, repercussion since they are mercenaries. Never hurts to grab the ingredients from the ceilings. Alrighty. I think there's nothing else here we need. Nope. Alright. Let's keep 
be near them. Uh, let me see. I think the way we need to go is over this way. No, that's the door. This is the way we need to go. gonna try and sneak up behind him but never mind that works as well all right and they have nothing I want so we should be good I think for the rest of this floor I think then maybe one more guy Let's get healed back up No, technically we could have snuck through that way. Yeah, but I wanted to check out this little room over here. I think there's a chest back here, if I remember right. Oh, almost. Ooh, too far. There we go. Yeah, there is. 17 gold. Nice. No. Alright. Let's keep moving. And let me see. We've got... Uh, I think this is the way to the basement. Sweet. Nope, yep, it is. But we don't want to go that way yet. We want to go, uh, whoa, scared me. Upstairs. Let's, uh, mask before we go up. And good second floor. What was that? Really, dude. Hello? Who's that? Nobody is here. There is nobody here. Now I think he leans against the... Yeah, he does. Can we get him? That's the question. Oh shoot, totally missed him. <laughs> oh no, that's the problem with power attacks. They kind of throw you. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Put me back down. Not really, but I think we need to go. You can't hide from me. Ha! Found you. Yeah. Yeah. Damn! Where 
Where'd you go? Where did I go? I didn't go anywhere. And we got one more guy right there. My money. There we go. Nice. That should be all of them. Nice, nice, nice. And our sword just ran out. So that was very fortuitous. Fortuitous? Fortuitous. Don't know what I was trying to say. <laughs> All right. Nope. Do it slow. Nope, 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 nope. Too fast. Nope, nope, nope. Right there. Oh, no. I thought we had it. That should be it. Come on, baby. Come on. Nope. Down a little bit more. Ah, uh, maybe up a little? I don't think it's up. Maybe. What about like right about there? Nope, it's definitely down more. There we got it. Uh, not much in here, huh? Oh, I will take that. Look in you and you. All right. So we should be good. Yep, yeah, we got the guy that was sitting here. Don't think we need a potato. I don't think those have anything. So now we need to get in here. Nice. And gold on the floor. I will take his flower. Ah, uh, no. Anything else in here? Nope. And I don't think he attacks, so I'm just going to take his stuff. And the Queen Bee statue, very nice. And I think that if we try to talk to him, he's probably going to aggro on us. So I think that we should be able to pick the lock and skip the optional step, even though I would rather do the optional, but. I don't think, uh, well, we got to get our bee in a jar as well. Nothing there. Nope. All right, dude. Live a happy life. And we are going to get out of here. Because that was all I came up here for, except now I'm lost. <laughs> nope, this way. There we go. And we need to get back over here and back in sneak. Sounds like another guard showed up. Well, let's go down here. I'm going and to find whoever did this. And when oh. I do it. Someone there. Someone there. No, no one's here. I think more came in behind us. What was that? What was that? Well, shoot. Is okay. Just trying to make sure nobody comes down the door.
door. Sometimes they do that. I don't know how many times the guards have followed me into the house in Riften. Good? Yeah, we're healing. Okay. Alright. Ooh, and our respiration went up nice. Good chest. Whoops. Here we go. Glass boots. Two for 90, okay. We will just take it all. All right, oh, I'm glad the mercenaries didn't uh, follow us down. So let's move on. Ooh, what we have here. I think that's the way we wanna go. So let's look over here. Yeah. Wow, those are some big heads and some big antlers. Oh, wow, it's a slaughterfish head. Kind of cool. All right, I think we have one more guy down here. And then we are home free until we have to go do the beehives. Let's uh, help ourselves out a little bit. Nice. Ah. Ooh. Sure, we'll take all three. Yep. I think that was all of them. Alrighty. Very nice. And I think we are done with our hands for right now. Let's see if we can get through this. Alrighty. And expert lock. Let's see if we could pick this one. Whoa. Not that way we won't. Nope. Alright. don't want to have to go back up and talk to the little guy. Alright, come on, little guy. Really? Hmm, not even a nibble. Now, I know I tried over this way. All right, up just a tad bit. Oh, almost. Ah, almost. All right, so all the way over and then up, maybe about there. And that bag of gold is sitting there taunting me. There, we got it. All right, let's take that. And can we read it? Uh, the sale of Golden Glow Estate and all property payment has been made in full. Gollum I, as an agent on behalf of the buyer. Uh, possible retribution. You are to take immediate steps to protect our assets. Uh, good luck. Uh, 
All right. And we will take that. And all the gold is for us. So let's get out of here and get over here. All right, we have one more thing to do. All right, that's, we need to go to the other end, I think it is, and drop down and then go back up the ladder to get out, yes. And then straight back up the ladder. All right, we need to go, uh, ooh, it's not dark would probably have been better at night. Um, yeah, let's see. Nice bell of that. Uh, the bridge is... The bees are over there. Alright, alright. I doubt we're going to be able to sneak past them all because it's daylight. Although, um, 20 seconds. There we go. Can we make it over there? I don't know. But so far, so good. I think we are, and I think I hear a Nern root. One. Two. Three. Two on three. Three. And we are out of here. I know I hear it. There you are. Thank you. And let's get out of here. Ooh. We've been there? I don't think we've been there. There's something over there we haven't been to as well. But for right now, we need to get back to Riften. Without getting our toes nibbled on. Oh, am I going the right way? I am not. We need to go this way. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, nice. Slaughterfish eggs. Which means there are probably slaughterfish in this water. Alright. We need to... I don't remember checking that place out. Did, I don't know. Oh, is that the... Uh, I don't know, I'll have to look later. Alright, let's get back to Riften and uh, we'll end our episode. Get a little. Uh... Oh, melons. That didn't go too bad. I'm happy with the way we resolved it. He didn't die, that's a good thing on any day of the week so and we killed a dragon so you know win-win for us let's get back in see what Brynjolf has to say and sell our bee statue Pretty day in Tamriel today. Alright. We should, uh... I think the next quest is we have to go talk with Maven. And go head back over towards Whiterun, I think, is the next step. I don't know, we will see. Um, who are you? I run the meat oh, and yeah, produce stand right. at the market. 
Come by and see me if you yeah, want some of the fresh food I've ever eaten. Hey, don't no. look at me that way. Oh, I'm not Who are you to you. judge me? I can judge anybody I want. What's your problem? So what if I have a problem? I know how to deal with it. Okay. Buy some armor here. and live to tell about it. Yep, yep, yep. I will maybe another time. But for right now, we need to uh, bobble our way back I down here. And I will meet you back here. inside. Alright, we are back down in the sea skill and we need to speak with Brynjolf. And complete the quest. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lass. Yes, and here's what was in the safe. Let me take a look at what you found. Arengarth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? No idea whatsoever. Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Uh, sure. But will I come out of there alive? <laughs> if it was like that, she wouldn't be asking for you. She'd be calling on the Dark Brotherhood. It's just business. And what does Maven want with me? That's between you and Maven. And I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. Speaking of which... <laughs> of course. Your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whip, lass. Keep doing right by us. And there's plenty more where that came from. Nice. Yeah, and we can use the secret entrance now. Yeah, you need something? So that's nice, but we're not going to do that. Right now, we're going to go and sell our bee statue and make a little bit more gold. Not much, but a little bit. Alright, let me see right here. And at Delvin. So, what could I do for you today? I... Uh, you're back. Yes, can I sell this bee statue to you? Well, well, I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. Right. There you go. This should cover it. Nice. Use your skills, not your blade, and you'll do fine. Good to know. Very good. I'll tell Brynjolf. Hmm. Alright, well, in the next episode, we will go and talk to Maven. So thank you for joining me. I've been Ball Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one.